The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. It's amazing. Ah, life. Sometimes we just want to scream our heads off. Other times we feel pretty good. But the struggle, the juggle. And if you don't know who I am yet, get to know me. I'm Ray Reynolds, the godfather of credit. I got that nickname on KNX Radio. Been advertising there for about 49 years. Wow. Times fly when you're only 39 years old, right? This is live. Everything that we do based on this, like today, this is auto income. I'd like you to get a tablet, write down auto income. Now, it's a terminology I put in my book 46 years ago when I basically wrote the book, basically winning the game of business. And page six, paragraph three says cash flow for you per time. So learning a little bit about me can help you get to where you want to go. There's no pictures. There's no recording. Why? Because I want you to write it down, put it here. Now, let's draw the diagram in front of us. Let's understand, and when we look in our city and state today, what do we see? We see Bank of America now have bankrupt 6,000 locations. Well, how did they do that? See, this is where I got stuck when I was a little kid. I wonder how things work. I look behind the curtain. Sorry, none of you probably did. So what did you do? You followed your friends and family. Sorry, I don't like the way they do things. So I do things my way just a little bit. So here's Bank of America. Here's Chase. All right, here's Wells Fargo. All right, here's US Bank. Now, what did they do? They have a parent company, corporation, owning a corporation. They call that a subsidiary. So this corp owns these corps with separate tax IDs. See, what happened in the world is you followed your friends and family about personal credit and basically followed sheeps and ducks. And they kind of screwed it up for everybody. And we're going to talk about that as well because your SSN, when you sign that SS5, if not, mommy did it for you. So let's understand today. They bankrupt a location, branch number, separate tax ID. They signed a 100 year lease. So they bankrupt the lease, tell the landlord to go blah, 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 and they get the write off from their taxes and keep the money and all the goodies. So it's the landlord. So the corporate structure is everybody gets to write things off. And we look at basically Sam's Club and Geico. Warren Buffett's company. Okay. We look at all the other things. Cities file bankruptcy. So your problem is you're getting today, you worked hard, you put your feet up, drinking your water, and you got to get off your assets and go get it. Your problem is you're letting life just kind of, you're just getting by. I think that sucks. I don't understand. My wife tells me almost every day, honey, you can't say you can't understand stupid. I brought in my first million dollars at 14 and a half. Why the blank didn't you? I brought in 2.6 billion at 26. Why didn't you? I don't understand. This is the easiest game in the world to play. Sometimes I feel guilty because it's so damn easy. But you, what do you do? Sorry, most of you sit there and go, me, 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 me. It's about it. It's got to stop. Don't you think it's got to stop? I mean, come on, you're live today? Sorry. Your first goal should stop bringing the damn pain home. You hurt your family. What did you do? You jacked up your credit cards, most of you. You dropped the score. You got stuck. You can't get any more. You backed yourself and family in a corner. And what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't get it. Why would anybody do that when they never had to? All right, because they didn't know how to play the rules and tools. So today, I like to train you how to be a certified CFO. I like you to reprogram your brain into millionaire status. I like you to quit doing silly. You see, we got a problem. You didn't look behind the curtain. See, ever since I was a kid, I was born in a taxi on the way to Guardian Hospital. My mommy, she was 15 and a half when she had me. Simple. She put me in a trash can outside the hospital. A note for me went for the hospital. She yelled in the hospital, baby in the trash can. So I was a piece of shit for her. If I was a girl, she said she would try to keep me. 
I got to be a Mrs. Hope the She-Devil from hell. So let's understand, getting to where you want to go, not easy. But I was motivated. My motivation is I want it out of hell. All right? The reality is your motivation, I don't know what it's going to be today. We'll figure that out. I got to be a Mrs. Hope the She-Devil from hell. All right? Rich and famous Hope family telling the world they're helping the kids while they're using and abusing me. It's ridiculous. Mrs. Hope dropped me off at Redonda Beach Pier. First time I was three years old. All right, 6.30 every morning. She rolled down the window of the car. You're not here at 5 o'clock. I'm going to leave you there to die. She was a she-devil from hell. I ran to the pier, stayed warm. There was a light. I sold off the pier for three days. And the man caught me. Ah! What am I going to do? man turns around and says, I can call the police. You can go to jail or take out my trash. Let's see. Take out the trash or go to jail. I'm three years old. I'm scared to death. But I'm one of these weirdos. They told me I was retarded as a kid. See, I learned to memorize words at two and a half years old. I taught myself how to read. I used to bug everybody. What's this word? What's this word? I'd make people read a book to me, and I remember I was whole damn thing. Kind of freaked them out. I could read it back out of my head. Right back to them, they go, ah! I was known as boy on the pier. Every time they clean out the chum bucket, boy. Yeah, boy, take out the trash, boy. Everybody in the pier knew me, Redonda Beach. The owner of like Tony's, I'd go to his palace for his home on the weekends and shovel horse and cow. You know what? But I learned something when I was a little boy. I looked at Miranda Del Rey, Torrance Rocks, Palace Ferdies. And right below that is Rat Beach, by the way. They got money. Your problem with you is you. You didn't look behind the curtain. You didn't look how it works. You follow ducks and sheep. we got to stop that. Today is where you're going to stop it. You're going to get to know how they did it so you can do it too. I get people all the time and complain about rich and famous people. I tell them, shut up and join them. So the rags are riches. That's just me. we got choices. Born in the taxi on the way to Guardian Hospital. That sucks. All right. I never had a birthday or a Christmas literally till I had my wife. I never had one as a kid. That fat man never came down my chimney. So what do we get to do? Your journey today can begin with me, but understand for 46 years, you're stuck with me from the beginning, middle to the end. Simple. Now I want you to focus. If you don't get your credit file corrected and basically understand how it works, you're never going to get to Maine to billion. So understand I'm the guy that trained Ken Yarborough at TRW that became a superior. Take out your cards to write down the procedure. I want to stick you on every card you got. Write down 25%, maintain, never pass 29%, and write down the limit of the card. See, your problem is you never set up the line of defense. And that's the same problem we have kids coming out of school and no one's teaching the rules and tools how to play the game. We got to learn to win. So let's listen and watch this. If you maintain these cards as an affiliate to creditors, these two cards here don't fluctuate. So these are up to a million dollars card. They have a paid or time limit as well as $100,000. So basically I can maintain a little payment. I can max it out a million bucks. And you know what? As long as I maintain the payment, my score never drops. So if we manage this and this together, what do we maintain? A 750 score. See, rules and tools are how you get where you want to go. But don't worry. Most of you, you screwed up your credit and jacking it all up. Ah! Or you hire one of these credit repair flaky companies. They have a magic wand. That's BS. Okay, they're not even allowed to collect money from it. They do it every day to rip people off. So let's understand something. Rules and tools. That means if you maintain the 750, you have to maintain all cards but two. All right, the gold and platinum. Don't fluctuate your credit. So my problem is me. When I became a billionaire under corporate structure, 2.6 billion, 26, I had everything I want. All right, mansions. I mean, I wrote the book on laundromats, dry cleaning, storage units. I own 44% of all storage units in California. Having fun. I got 22,000 22, pay phones. I'm having fun. See, I don't want to run a business. That's a pain in the asset. Everybody who wants to, you know, I work for this company. I'm going to stop and go run my own company. Being your own boss is an idiot, in my opinion. You see, all you did is transfer all the pain to you. And when you screw up what most of you do, you bring the pain home anyway. If you don't learn about auto income, how the hell are you going to get there? But 
when you have everything you ever want, which I do now and even then, what am I going to do? My wife calls this my hobby. I decided to help people 46 years ago. I was bored. Simple. So here's some things I want you to write down. Self-confidence. Write it down. If you don't have it, I'll get it to you. All right. From there, self-discipline. All right. And understand self-motivation. My motivation, motivation as a kid was to get out of hell. I didn't like eating out of a trash can. I didn't like being used and abused like a piece of, you know what? So I wanted out of hell. So understand, finding and fighting through the pain. It's not easy. If you think it's easy, forget it. I don't have a magic wand. I made a promise to myself. I would never get married ever and have kids unless I had a foolproof program. And once I did that, I got a wife. I got finally a Christmas and a, a birthday my wife gave me. First one in my life, I got six kids and 10 grandkids and one on the way. So we get to play. Right in the book called Winning the Game of Business, 46 years ago, one of my companies was repackaged in America. Only in America, I let Don King use that for a while. Okay, page six, all right, says cash flow, free up your time, financial freedom. That's basically paragraph three. I know some other ding-dong tried to use it. Uh, he got kind of sued. He's bankrupt a couple of times, too, and I think he's full of crap in my opinion. Now, we always have an old blank day. Damn. 2009, almost 15 years ago. All right, my wife, she does outreach in Jamaica, Colombia, because she's Colombian in Mexico and California. She wants to take a group of people on one of the yachts in the backyard. No problem, so we do. Next day, I'm in a coma. That's the picture they time, they call the time of death. It's a good picture. I wish I had you know, set up and go, geez, scare the hell out, but I couldn't, I was dead. July 5th, all right, 5.41 in the afternoon, they called the time of death. That kind of sucks, too. So I know what I look like when I'm dead. Before I died in that coma, my wife told everybody at the office, he's in a coma, he's going to to die. Well, the reality is simple. My wife told the office that, and Ron's over there at my office, at One Technology Drive, Irvine Spectrum. 22,000 square foot building, one of my buildings. Oh, goody. You haul trucks stealing my books and CDs. My IT manager was stealing he sold my websites and my basically my phone numbers to a porn site. They were called the phone number on the CDs. So if you understand, I was at the Bonaventure for 32 years in California. Every Wednesday night selling this Millionaire's Founders Kit for 5000 a set. I got cited by the city of Los Angeles for having too many people in my events twice so far. What are we going to do? I sold it for 5000 bucks. But you know what? The office sells them for 499 I like to give them away for shipping and handling, all right, for $199. So if you ever need a copy, just let us know. Here I am dead on that picture. Why don't you Google the address? See, that was my mansion in Huntington Harbor, the largest u -doc. And I have properties on all five other islands, too. But again, you can find out I'm really telling you the truth. It'll set you free. So starting a business, running a business, that's a pain in the asset. Your friends and family, someone ripped you off. I bet you, you got to realize one thing. Uh, they might be put you off the cliff. They might not catch you. Hold your breath. So as we look at this, let's focus. I'm at Mrs. Hope's house, the she devil from hell. Every Wednesday night, they had a poker game. The one I'm listening to, they had Michael Landon, Dan Blocker, and the producer of Gunsmoke Mission Apostle, Ted Turner, and this Laker who became an attorney. All going blah, blah, blah. Drinking whiskey and smoking out their butts. And the cigars. They said a corporation is a legal person. Okay. I wrote it down. They told me I was weird. Probably true. Next day, I rolled my little bicycle down to the Torrance Police Department. Next door is a library. Man, what does this mean? She walked away. She was rude too. Five minutes later, here's a mic of his. Here's a book. I read the book. Hell, you've been reading the books too. Why are you all doing it wrong? I don't get it. Now, I didn't pay attention. This is a problem you didn't pay attention to too. It says it makes sue be sued. Every corporation out there, no matter what type it is, when they sue it, they sue you. You're the officer. You're on the bank account. And all it takes is four questions and a deposition. You're a duck and a sheep. So you might want to learn how to play just a little bit more. Now, I went to the library for two years. I'm going to figure it out. Where's the blueprint? I sent $10. So I sent $10 money order to the Secretary of State of California. I was nine and a half. I want to see if it will work. Ten bucks. I'm mowing yards and doing whatever. What do I do? I got a corporation came back. Oh, my goodness. What happens next? I'm the founder of Helping Hand Industries. I got over $100,000 of credit cards in the mail without applying for credit. See, they did that in the 70s, 80s for everybody. 
I've got a point. I got $53 million of credit cards in history and a dashboard, and I'm an affiliate. Wow. I even got named in the movie Dave. If you ever watch the movie Dave, look at it. They're talking about Ray Reynolds. All right, Help Hand Industries. Well, that was good. So I got named in the movie too. Biggest problem I screwed up with, which you're going to do probably too. I used the word Braille. I started the Orange County Blind Center when I was 12 and a half years old. Little girl on TV, she was my friend, trying to help her too. So I got named in a lawsuit. Scared the crap out of me. So they sued the corporate, they named me. Just like they would do for you, isn't that fun? You think a court protects your ass? That's, no, it does not. So you have to learn to play. Never bring the pain home. So when you hear the word no, what do you do? You accept it. Every time I hear the word no, I say thank you. I walk away, find a way anyway. Just like when I had my 19 houses, I transferred them to the divisions because they wouldn't give me number 20. So what do we do? Understand. Today, write down today's date. Why don't we focus on the next 90 days of your life? And let's focus to see it, believe, and go get it. See, your problem is going to be you. These are just a couple of things I obtained. I won't show you something I didn't obtain real simple. Now, at your age, all right, no matter what it is, we're hoping and praying for another 50 years plus. Okay. You're getting older, slower. You're not as pretty as you used to be. Neither am I. The lack of knowledge is our stupidity. And we're bringing the damn pain home. I would like you to focus today about a legacy. I'd like you to write down every vocable trust because I'm going to get you the millionaire, which I'll guarantee that if you do what I tell you to do. And that's your first million. Now, I got 31 millionaire, millionaire clients, 29 billionaires now after 46 years. So irrevocable trust. We got a plan to die. This is a UCC1 form. There's 19 ways to use the form entitlement of ownership. Walk to your house today in your office and list all your goodies. All right, because if you don't do that, when you die, someone's going to walk through your stuff and sell it like it's a swap meet. So if you do what I tell you to do, I want you to turn it into your irrevocable what? I want you to turn it into basically into the irrevocable trust. Then I wanted a chattel mortgage. Did you know you can borrow against your own stuff? You know where your stuff goes when you're dead? I know when mine goes. Simple. So we have to play. You know, it's amazing. You've heard of the Kennedys, the Hiltons, the Firestones, the Gettys, and Fords. Why didn't you play the same thing they did? I don't understand. They left things to their children. No, they left in the corporations. My kids are all officers of corporations worth millions and billions. My kids aren't going to pay diddly squat when I die. Why would it be stupid enough to make them pay tax when daddy already paid the tax? So we got to learn to play. There's that corporation again. What did it say? Legal person may what? All right, sue or be sued. So understand, if you get a corporation today, it was designed for one reason, to re receive money to the SS4 so you don't pay tax till you're profitable. It doesn't matter what type you pick in the beginning. Hell, you're not in the profit zone anyway. So you got to learn to play. So understand. So as we play this game today, just remember a corporation, when they sue it, they're going to sue you, unless you have a division process and understand how to play it. When I was a kid, they kept saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, I asked what it meant. Now all I got back is, bleep, bleep, bleep. I thought the grown-ups when I was a kid were stupid. I think they were stupid. When I grew up, I realized they were stupid. But that's just me. So as we play the game, let's understand. Free money. Everybody's stealing the money from their families. Like, what the hell are you doing? I don't understand stupid. See, a corporation, I'm on my dashboards, I can get millions of dollars of credit off my history for you and build you up, up, and away. And all corporate credits are right off interest rate and credit card. So it's like free freaking money and all you have to do is pay a payment. Wouldn't that be better to do it my way? All right, I think your way sucks, but that's just my opinion. So if we do this correctly, we're gonna start being an investor. I wanna start my business. No, you don't. All right, everyone, I wanna start a business and make the money, then get an apartment, then get this or this, real estate, and then I wanna get a franchise. Cut in line. Today, you become the investor now, all right? You run a business, no. You let a third-party management company run it for you. When I was doing flippity dippity doos, and some of you want to do the real estate thing, okay. So do the flippity dippity do. 19 houses, 17 and a half. I realized that the buyer was a liar, the agent and the broker. Brokers that say 40 to 50 percent, it's never been that. That's BS. In escrow, you got to do a wrapper refresh that I invented 40 years ago, and you got to basically bring down your score up so you can get to basically the best loan in the interest rate too. And then you hire the contractor. That hires a subcontractor that stand outside Home Depot. I got tired of that BS. 
at 21, I wrote my first book called Become the Bank. Isn't that fun? So I decided to become the bank. Why didn't you? I mean, are these turned up? Did you know when I sold my first car, or right, they get a down payment and they wanted to go to their credit union, all right, to get the loan for the balance? I said, no, no, no. I have a division I work with that'll actually give you the loan for the, the car. So here, I got the money down payment. I assigned the asset to them. All right. And from there, uh, the division I had became the damn bank and I got a loan for them for seven years. I made four hundred and thirteen dollars a month for doing nothing. Is that OK? I like being the bank, don't you see? The reality is you blew opportunities when you sold a car and a house. I don't understand. Why did you do it your way? I think your way sucks. So what did I do? I decided to basically split deed properties, having fun, doing assignment of mortgage. Oh, that's fun. So I could become the damn bank. All right. And then my real estate system and how I got billions in real estate, financial system, become the bank, buckets of money, and tax balancing. That's kind of fun. And the assignment of an asset. See, you got things you can do today to create auto income. But you're not going to look my way because you just don't look behind the curtain. I don't get it. So let's think. Right now, you have 14 states that have brand new houses less than 100,000. 14 states. Did you know the down payment is 5,000? These are 100,000 each. How many would you like? Corporate credit on cash credit and everything else doesn't show up on personal credit reports above 10,000. I could jack these suckers up. It didn't hurt my credit at all. Why didn't you do it that way? And I can do section eights or I have a local real estate office managing for me too. Isn't that the way you're supposed to do it? So let's say all banks have this on their dashboards and even online. Here's Bank of America repos. All right, literally bank owned properties. You could play with them and they actually assign the mortgage to you. They just want someone to pay the damn bill. Isn't that residual income, auto income? We could play. How about HUD homes? All right, short sale, repo, and auction. I've been doing that. How about we get a dry cleaners? I wrote the book on dry cleaners years ago. All right, kind of fun. So what happens in a dry cleaner, you get the right kind. What happens is they actually have three people, employees. There's a service that provides them. On top of that, they actually have someone who picks up the clothes, takes them back, and it's a storefront. One of the clients got three locations. I said get one, they wanted three. They only get 63000 a month. But they don't do a damn thing besides what? They invest it. Isn't that what you want to do? How about basically a laundromat? I wrote the book on that too. This one got 30000 a month. Now here, God rest his soul, he passed away. The wife says, whoever gives me $5,000 can take over the drive-thru. They only want 80000 bucks. I gave him $5,000 a second. Wee! That's where one of my restaurants called Fizuli's Colombian Coffees. Isn't that an opportunity? So if we don't, if we play the right way, can we win? How about Wendy's? I got people on those too. How about Jack in the Boxes? How about some gas stations? See, I always pick necessities during even a pandemic. So this one, you see these empty locations everywhere. It's opportunity. So if you're going to get auto income, stop trying to run a damn business and own it. All right. The goal is simple. It's like in a coaching program. If you decide to step up to get in my coaching programs, it's simple. I can only coach basically literally. All right. 30 people at a time. This means here's my calendar. Literally, I'm full. I have two openings now. I can get two people in coaching from there. I'm sold out. All right, I'm always sold out. So half the time people got to wait in line. Isn't that fun? So what happens is the blueprint call, you're stuck with me for an hour. We're going to talk about your past, present, and future. You make sure your partner life's on the call with me. The next thing, I'm going to give you 25000 cash credit. And every program that I do, I give anywhere from one to ten times the money you invest in a program. So I want to take away your damn excuses. I tried doing this at 26 years old when I got $2.6 for free. Nobody would play with me. They had no skin in the game. Okay. Expedited rapid rescore. Why? Because I invented it 40 years ago with Harold Stokes and, all right, basically what? Ken Yarbrough. So let's we look at this. A corporation with nine divisions, if you need them. Level one, level two, level three, and specialty classes. My controller says this is we sell this for 11000 bucks. Okay. No problem. So if one of you take one of the last two shots and positions, I'm going to hand you 100000 in cash credit. If it was done tonight, now, 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 because I'm going to charge you $39.99. Simple. Now you're stuck with me. 
You always take a picture. We Zell, Ray Reynolds recipient, Ray RayRayScreder.com, RW, bank transfer deposit. Simple. If you're serious about changing your life. So from there, if you need to basically use a credit card, you just email me. We'll do that too. I got a solution for every excuse you might have. Now I need you to write down credit, loan, and money. Can you write that down? Credit, loan, and money. Okay. See, you had some money before, right? All right. Now I bet you you spent it and you kind of pissed it away. That's kind of dumb. Did you know if your corporation was a management company and you had a division for a franchise, a division for apartment complex, and the money's coming in, you're paying the bills, I can line you up to get a line of credit up to 1.5 million, one checkbook. Isn't that fun? What does that do? It gives you financial freedom. And now what do you get to do? You're an investor of auto income. Your goal should be 100,000 a month, by the way. So if we want to, and I understand, all right, another thing to make money is credit. See, what happens is when I get a credit card and I got $53 million of credit at the time, cards, they start to shrink a couple. I don't like that. So I looked at one, basically C191D, a corporation to loan money to a private party. So I take $50,000 off a card that comes with a checkbook. That means I'm going to loan, what, five people, $10,000 each. All right, auto income. So understand, I loaned them $10,000. I'm going to put a homestead blocker on their home, which is worth 170 as a note. Under the UCC one chattel mortgage, their assets are 65,000. All right, so I'm going to create notes of about 300,000 for every 10,000 I loan out. So I get 300,000 more. Isn't that fun? Every $50,000 I would loan out, I gain $2,400 a month. Positive income. So if you ever get serious about even loaning out the money, is auto income. What you would do is want to be added to my dashboards. And so I can pop credit for you. So let's understand something. Okay. Here's some real examples from the last week. Bob tries to apply and gets a card for 500 bucks. I apply on my dashboards for Bob. I get 3,500. Linda applies. Simple. All right. All right. She gets 300. I get 2,000. So using my history. Now, understand, I don't sell tra trade line crap. That's actually fraud. As an affiliate, I'm allowed to add you to my dashboard. And what I get to do is add you to my history and my card. When I ask for separate billing, you get your own account. Whee! Isn't that fun? It's a nice game to play. From there, $4,000 Robert got. When I was done, I got him $30,000. Okay? Mike, $1,000. Time was done, I got $11,000. So adding basically to my dashboards, building credit for people is kind of fun. Okay? And the next thing is I'm using my history to pop credit bigger than you can pop. The goal is simple. Now listen to the word division. A division is under the corporation. I created the rules and tools, getting the state of California to approve what I wanted to do. From there, no problem. Then all the cities and states followed along. Each division is allowed to get up to $1 million of credit. This means if we build a matrix. If you have or get the copy of basically become the buckets of money, one of my books created my first matrix. Okay, I created $190,000 a month just by loaning out the money. So I got to Corp, loan at 100,000, nine divisions across the board. And then each division realized one thing, I created and invented subdivisions. Isn't that fun? So what do we do? I created a matrix. This matrix, by the time I was done with 41 divisions, I created basically 190,000 a month. All right, just coming in automatically. And the bills are paid automatically. See, me, I haven't had a paycheck for 31 years. I don't need one. The system creates money, pays the bills, and I just go have fun. I freed up my time since I was a little kid. I mean, why the hell is anybody else? Again, I don't understand stupid. But the reality is it's very simple. Okay? Anybody can create a matrix of 41 divisions and create auto income if they want to. The next thing is we play the game because business is a game to me because I always want to win. The next matrix, it took me 32 months. I created 661000 a month. Before I died in that coma in 2009, I got a million a day. See, this is fun if you want to play auto income. Shouldn't you win the game? But again, it's you. I want to make you a money-making machine. Would that be okay? All right, to play. But again, I want you to have the five reasons why corporate cash credit. Everything to me is rules and tools and steps, period. So basically, all credit is tax ID base. It's a write-off. Heck, it's free damn money. All you do is maintain a payment. And you're not stealing from your family like most of you do, which is kind of silly and kind of silly and dumb. Divisions give you the line of defense, and you build a legacy. 
Isn't that the way you're supposed to do it? I, I don't understand why you did it your way. I think your way sucks. So we go back to the banks, the grocery stores, right in your face. They bankrupt locations, separate tax IDs, and you sit there going, what did they do? Or complaining about it. Maybe I say shut up and join them. All right. We're going to use the division process. Division process. When I was a little boy, going to the library, Torrance Library, very simple. I wrote a blueprint. Stop bringing the pain home become a certified CFO, and program myself to millionaire status. My blueprint when I wrote it at nine and a half years old was see it, believe it, go get it. So that's what I've been saying ever since then. See it, believe it, go get it. So let's understand. Treading water eh, and playing it safe. Here's the five steps, more steps you need. Like I told you, there's a thousand steps. You're going to need a real 750 score, not care, credit, first, premier. From there, you're going to need a corporation of about 26 divisions. You're going to need a million dollars of cash credit, checkbook money, a million dollars, and supply and vendor money. I hope you wrote it down because you can't take a picture. These are must-haves. So if you set up the foundation and I guide you from beginning, middle, and end, we'll get it done. Next, the goal is to repackage people like Humpty Dumpty. That's the ultimate goal. So as we play this game, you got a 1,000 steps to get to Millionaire. I put it in the Millionaire's Founders Kit, so at the bottom of it, you're 32 years, and these are goodies I obtained. Why haven't you? I don't understand. So again, we get to play. What's a corporation again? Legal person. So again, may sue or be sued. A division. All right, very simple. My shopping centers. All right, my donut stores, my shakies, my 31 flavors, my subways, and all the pieces that I'm doing, having fun. But if I have one that screws up, I'm going to what, lose everything? No, thank you. See, when you dissect the liability, what do you get to do? You get to disconnect, isolate, incorporate. Take the bad piece and throw the sucker away. Give the other pieces. Haven't you watched rich and famous people do this too? But they use subsidiaries. A bad tenant maybe as we play this game. Cash and supply credit. So I'd like you to write down, all right, you're willing to sacrifice a division, not the corp and your family. So far, you've been sacrificing your family or the corp, and that sucks. Isn't that kind of dumb? All right, you could actually do it the right way. Now, I'd like you to research bankruptcy today. Because if I get to the million to billion, I want you to screw this up. So far, if you bankrupt, it's been your SSN and family. How about tax ID, corp, division, subsidiary? See, if we're going to get to the automatic income, we've got to have the foundation. Without that, we're not going to be able to sustain it. So here's what happens. I'm an affiliate. I got computers in front of me. All right. In my major office, I have seven computers. I have seven dashboards. I'm allowed to start a credit file instantly under SSN or SS4. So that means I get a tax ID. I'm establishing, listen carefully, Experian, TransU, and Equifax. That's a cash report, so we'll go build some cash credit. Next, I'm lining you up to coaching to get a line of credit called checkbook money. This is where you're going to use that money to get into whatever type of business you want to. That's run by third party. So let's give you an example. Division of me. Your problem, sorry, is going to be you. If you're going to get the million to billion, you got to understand how to play the game and to win. Right now, I want you to write down division of me. Write it down. It means you. We focus on the SS4 form. Line one says legal name of entity, individual person. I can put a person's name, corporation, division, or subsidiary right on line one. I can build a corporation with the million dollars of cash credit. And what are we going to do? Buy a business as we play this game. Division of me. As an example, one of the Lamborghinis part of the car collection. There's 21 cars. Okay, here's the keys. When I got the Lamborghini, this one, the payment was $6,800 a month. Now, if I do it under me and I can't pay it, they're going to take it away and I'm going to have crappy credit. Then you're going to report it to the IRS as a 1099C. So now I'm going to have double crappy credit. But I bought it through the division of a corporation. Remember, instead of SS, what, N, SS4, I guarantee you SS4. If I got a problem with that piece and I keep all my other pieces and shopping centers and money, I got a bad piece. What do I get to do? Like the banks and grocers and the cities do. I get to disconnect, isolate, incorporate. Put that sucker over here. If I can't save it within six months under the Federal Protection Act, I'm allowed to bankrupt the bad piece. Isn't that what your banks do in grocery stores and cities? When you sign a lease of a building, why would you sign it as you? Should be a division of you. Property should be divisions. Which ones are going to slip and fall and sue you and screw you up? You don't know. I don't have a magic wand. 
So from here, the SS4 was designed for one reason, to receive money and not pay tax to your profitable and for banking and credit purposes. The only form that the IRS ever created to create money, banking and credit purposes is the SS4. Your SSN, you're not supposed to use it. It says don't use for ID purposes. All right, so credit. I get one card, I'm allowed to get 99 more. I mean, would you like? You see, you could create $100 million of credit just for the hell of it if you wanted to, but you're not going to take it from the family because that's kind of silly and dumb. We got to play my way for a while. So if you have a corporation today, look on Secretary of State's website, find your corp, find your name, you're the officer, and you're in the bank account. Wow. And you probably used your home address. Why don't you change that to a mailbox, et cetera, shared office space because you add yourself to the national mailing list. You actually did it to yourself. That's why you get robocalls every day. So if you put your ducks in a row, we do it my way, we get you to auto income. Because right now when they sue that corp, they sue you. That kind of sucks. Doesn't it make sense to you? Creating a line of defense and not bringing the pain home? So your corporation is going to do four things. These are raised rules. Do what you want. But I get millionaires and billionaires all the time. So the reality is buffer tax. No tax is due to work. Profitable. All right, all corporate credit to write off, interest rate and credit card, which you can't do for you, the car at fleet price, and the free buffet at the hotel. Now, a division is a line of defense. Remember, write them down. You can't take a picture and record. I want it here. Line of defense. They're cheap. Multiple functions. Buy at wholesale price. Multiple credit reports. Legitimately, and it's nice. Millions and millions. And then the real estate, we separate liability. If we focus on divisions as the ducks and the sheep, we will create a line of defense. We will build a corporate umbrella and I'll build credit up to a million dollars for you and you can finance the American dream. Living on the hill, drive the car if you want, anybody sues you, they get dilly squat. And that's the American dream. What will you do and what are you willing to lose? Come on, what are you willing to lose? So let's understand something. I never had a Christmas and a birthday until I got a wife. And I promise I'd never get that unless I had a full group program. I'm not willing to lose family. Six kids, 12 grand, 10 grandkids, one on the way. Corporation, they sue what they sue you. Divisions are your line of defense. Until you master the divisions can be the ducks and the sheep, you're kidding yourself. And I'm the inventor of that since 85, 86. You might want to focus and not bring the pain home again and get to the point of auto income. Every one of these pieces, division process. Just a couple of goodies I obtained. I always put the Ray Reynolds University on the goodies and erase butts in the odds. Why not? It's fun. From there, having properties on all five islands and putting the Duffies there too. All right, I got to ride with Neil Diamond twice. We got five Harleys in nonprofit. Isn't that fun? Bum, bum. So I like goodies, don't you? But these are kind of goodies when you get to five to $10 million that I obtain. You can obtain them too. Now you should focus on $1 million of credit cards. You should focus on five million of checkbook money. That should be your goal. Thousand steps, not gonna be easy. You're gonna work your tail off. But I'm gonna hold your hand every step of the way and do most of the work for you anyway. And you also get a hold of the Mainers Founders Kit. The money making machine, auto income. So let's say, if I rebuild you here, we don't do credit repair crap. We're gonna analyze you immediately, show you what you need to do in your part, get to class, don't fall in your wad. Over here, now the corporation, we're gonna basically go after a green card, all right, basically Capital One. The unlimited is 100,000. They have two sisters for 30 each. So there's 160 times nine. Does that one card become a million dollars now? Will that finance every location, every unit you wanna get? How about B of A? Is that a million? How about basically Wells Fargo? How about Inc? How about gold? So let's understand. Five cards, only like 10 anyway, can up to the million dollars. That could be up to five million bucks. Now, the next thing we have to do is understand checkbook money. So let's understand checkbook money. As long as your corp or your divisions are on two years, last year and this year, what happens? Unsecured up to 150. Chase has given a couple of clients 250. Again, no tax return. Now, these are the five that I like. Okay, to get you up to $5.4 million of checkbook money so you can write a check when you buy that Wendy's restaurant and get to an escrow and not be stressed out because that's no fun being stressed out. So the goal is foundation of everything. Simple. So let's look at Carl here. 
Carl at Bank of America has a line of credit of $1.2 billion. He bought, brought in $728 million last year. As long as the line of credit is above, he brings in no state and federal tax. Didn't you know how to play the game? That's why rich and famous people don't pay tax. Walt Disney, they call him the loophole king. They don't want to pay tax on a billion, so they wrote an IOU to themselves. Simple. So if we learn how to play the game, let's understand something today. The goal is for you to become a millionaire maker. Now, if we reference three times five, I'm going to show you how to position this anywhere from $1,000 up, up, and away. Now, let's understand. Corporate credit is a write-off. Borrow money is not taxable. So if I build you the credit and the corporate rebuild you my way, not your way, and we can basically do what? Take that money and buy our lifetime income. The lifetime income should be real estate, house, duplex, fourplex, apartment complex, ran by third party. From there, how about a franchise? Okay, we're doing that forever. So what do we do? We buy our lifetime income. Let's pretend today you won the lottery. Everybody takes the cash value. Okay, so now what? Ah! See, your tax attorney is going to say something I don't agree with. We're going to fight a little bit. You got to put it in your personal account, in your SSN. That's called stupid. When you gain money, you have to pay tax on what you're gaining. I'm going to tell you to put a division of you. And your tax attorney is going, what's that? All right, they got to catch up, but it's okay. So if you have a division of you under the corporation, you're putting money in the same tax ID. Now, what happens? You go into the bank sitting down with the banker. You're going to ask to create a line of credit off that money. Borrow money is not taxable. So we're going to create debt, also taxes. So since borrow money is not taxable, this will turn into million to billions. Is that okay if we play my way? Every property you get should be a division. Which one's going to slip and fall and sue you and screw you up? I don't know. Do you know? So it's like anything else. Your house payment, I'll set your taxes. So if we look at Amazon, their first 10 billion, they didn't pay tax. Now they're worth 3 trillion. They don't pay tax. So again, we get to play. See, what they're doing is what they're allowed to do. There's no loophole. They're doing what they're allowed to do. We watched him by Twitter in tw two days, borrowing $44 billion. He didn't have that in the bank. All right? They don't have it in the bank. So he borrows $44 billion. In three weeks, he screws it up. He's totally, totally dumb, in my opinion. X marks the spot. The banks are kind of pissed off. It's only worth $19 billion now. They lost a lot of money. But he's got a spaceship. And he tells the world to go after themselves. I think he's nuts. Oh, well, he's got a spaceship. Give him some competition. So is the other guy. So what do we get to do? We get to play the game and join the club, and we get to win. See, did you look behind the curtain how they do things? I've done that since I was a kid. I mean, his house, he says he goes into only 12 of the rooms. You spent 165, what, million dollars? I like the guy in TikTok. Well, Warren Buffett has the same house in 1968. Warren Buffett has 65 freaking houses, you idiot. All right, Mark, he buys properties around his own house. He doesn't want neighbors. Then he builds a bunker. So guess what happens? You get to play. And they don't pay tax like you and me do. How about these companies? They don't pay state and federal tax too. So if we learn to play the game, when you get to millionaire, to billionaire, you learn how to play and how you receive money matters. SSN, tax, 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 SS4, no tax, to you're profitable. So if we structure this correctly, I'm going to get you to the profit zone. Okay, that means a corp with nine divisions and a million dollars of credit. Is that all right? From there, when you get to profit zone, you will have a non or a Nevada corporation LLC. Now, 2009, Ray Reynolds, the largest registered agent in the world, was me. I've sold 10 times more Nevada corps than anybody on the planet. In the beginning, you don't need Nevada because you're not in the profit zone yet. So, incorporate your own state, please. You have to have a legitimate paper trail. So, what happens in Nevada? They don't trade, and they don't have any damn stacks, tax. We're losing more people in California to Nevada, Arizona, and Texas because our government here are a bunch of idiots, okay? They're stupid. So the reality is Nevada Corp., if you want one, they're up to about 3500 bucks. Please don't do that unless you live in Nevada. We got to play the right way. When you get to profit zone, mama company will be an LLC in Nevada. So as we play this game, remember what we're trying to do. So let's think. You need to write down SSN. You only get one chance, and you're allowed that. 100,000 credit, 29% at the most. All right, safety credit, 71,000. All right, do not use personal credit to start a business because that's called stupid. It hurts the family. We shouldn't do that. 
the S is for corporation. We're going to have a corp with three divisions in the beginning. We're going to name the corp neutral, not after you know what it does. From there, you're going to not basically play the game the right way, and you're going to set up a line of defense. This means a division for house, franchise, or right, current business. Each entity division is allowed up to $1 million of credit to per division, by the way. So you can get up to four or five million bucks as we play this game. You're going to have to do some self analyzation. Your corp should be S, no matter if it's C or LLC, into S, 1244, irs.gov. House payment offsets the taxes. All right, you get to break even to the first three to five million. And then we got to think about, let's say you're jacked over here. Why don't we build basically supply and vendor money? Why don't we go get that kind of credit? We don't pay a bill up to 90 days. It's called OPM, new setup done in Bradstreet the right way. And then we go sell some things on Amazon and eBay. We make the money here, we pay down this over here. See, you got a balance, coaching. Your problem is you might pay, spend money on this or that. You need someone from the beginning to the middle to the end and get it done. Next thing, me, I million to billion, not a problem. And guess what? I've incorporated presidents in the United States of America too. Lakers, Clippers, Dodgers, and Angels all across the board. Now, here's a blueprint call. That means you and me and your partner of life are going to sit on that phone for up to an hour. We're going to talk about your past, present, and future, okay? The good, bad, and the ugly. We're going to talk about family, corporation, 26 divisions, irrevocable trust, and your car. Your car is registered to you. Do you realize in a bumpity bump they're going to sue the registered owner which is you? I want that changed to a division like yesterday. The next thing is your house. Escrow closed homestead trust. That's what you did. Oh, well, you forgot the homestead or the trust? Don't worry. When they sue you, they kind of screw you up. Then you're in your family. When you die, they get diddly squat. So we're going to buy the house through the trust from now on. Auto income, cash flow for your time. A blueprint call with me is a thousand bucks. All right, you and your spouse, so you, all right, get to auto income. So if you want to get into the six weeks, I have a two left to play with. All right, you're getting that blueprint call for free. I'm building you 25000 in cash credit. I'm doing the rapid refresh during the six weeks, push it up, up, and away. A corporation with nine divisions, you don't have them. Then I'm going to put you in level one, two, three, and specialty classes. I want to make sure you learn a 1,000 things plus. It's fun from there. Scott, my controller, says it's worth 11000 We sell it in pieces. Today, if you did it and locked it in today, you're getting 100000 in cash credit, and it's going to cost you $39.99, about 4000 bucks. You sell, sell, sell. You can put a deposit down, and you basically from there call the office and talk to Scott, my controller. That's all you need to do. Or you email me. You're serious about being the last two. Simple. See, I like boring businesses. I don't want to run a business. That's never been my dream. When I would invest $40,000 off of a line of credit, my income would be $3,000 to $10,000 a month. That could be the laundromat, could be basically a dry cleaner, could be any piece that I'm doing. I don't want to run the damn business. That's not my goal. could be my 22,000 pay phones at the time. When I invest $100,000, I got $45,000 a month. $250,000, $75,000. So I'm going to always pick a boring business. Now, Mr. Buffett did what I'm telling you to do, and that's going to be up to you to listen and follow through. Auto income. Isn't it your turn to do it my way? All right. I like my way better than yours. So he's got his 100 companies and his favorite 10. Now, he doesn't work at American Express, but he owns it or Duracell. How about Dairy Queen? Is he making hamburgers? Sees candy? See, the reality is there's no difference between Mr. Buffett and you. There really is no difference at all. You get to learn to play the game you like to win. And that's the goal. This is an apartment complex. They see one of your real estate. This one built in 1968. They want $3 million. They need 10% down. We take it over a line of credit. What do we do? We have a new loan now. Here's the problem with you. Okay, you now have $13,452, residual income, auto income, passive income, and you think you're done. One tenant slips and falls and sues you, screws you up, you lose it all. Your problem, you're not done. All right, what we're going to do is my way. We're going to split deed each unit, do an assignment of mortgage, and become the damn bank. Now we turn that to 76,800 auto income. Now also you actually reverse the liability. They can't sue you, but you get to sue them if they don't pay. Isn't that fun? So if we're gonna look at real estate franchise storage units, let's look at six weeks, three months, six months or 12 months of coaching package. When you go to the expos, I think you're like a deer in the headlights. 
the ultimate goal. Storage unit for clients, only 60,000 a month. All right, okay. We wanna get some dry cleaners, okay. Simple, auto income, 63,000 a month, okay. How about a laundromat? All right, how about the one that, sorry, he died, passed away and she won 95,000 down. Okay, the reality is kind of fun. 5,000 down, took over the unit, the bank appraised the assets in the building and they gave us $122,000 a line of credit. Did we get our 5,000 back? <laughs> See, business is fun. How about the Wendy's restaurant? How about the Jack in the Box? How about some gas stations? How about empty locations? Having fun and opportunity? So here's the goal. You have a goal list. You probably, I don't know if it's written, hopefully it is, but the list is one thing. Now, what are the steps? Goals are just the index of a book. We need the daily list, we need the weekly list, and then we get to the project list when we got the money, the checkbook money. So auto income. So what happens with me, the three months, six months, and 12 months? Three months lines you up, six months you get your first unit, 12 months you should have multiple units. In these programs, you should be focusing on $5 million, literally $5 million. So the three months lines you up, six months first location should be, as long as you follow through, 12 months you'd have multiple locations. So the goal is auto income. Pitching classes, pitching calls, you're stuck with me through the whole process. And that's half the fun. We're gonna go into literally projections. We're gonna go into daisy chaining of credit up to a million dollars anyway. And what are we gonna do? Get you in a program. But the thing about the three months program, it's 8,000 bucks and I don't take payments anymore. I had to kick people out of this the last three months. I, I kept waiting payments and they just, you know, I'm not chasing the money or they had to step down to a lower program because they can't afford it, even though I'm giving them the credit. Now, what really pissed me off, six of them, I build them 10,000, 30,000, 40,000, and they didn't pay their balance, all right? It's like liars or buyers, it sucks. So $8,000 paid in full for three months. If it was done tonight, I'm gonna add 150,000 of credit. If you wanted the six months program, it's 15 grand, paid in full, 300,000 of credit. If you did a 12 months program, it's 30,000. Then I'm going to build you literally 500,000 of credit. But tonight, I'm changing this. Anybody who locks it in tonight, I'm going to build you $750,000 of credit. I don't care if you pick the three months, six months, or the 12 months. I want my last two gone. I want it all sold out. It's a sell, sell, sell for a deposit. Now, 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 bank transfer, deposit, or wire. All right, or there you email me, you're serious, and I'll have Scott call you right away. Simple. See, if we look at what's going around us, and what did you do? I'm sorry your friends and family talked about personal credit and didn't teach you rules and tools. They should have in the first place. Because if you balance this with these, you'll never go below 750. Why would anybody have, sorry, shitty credit in the first place? Because they don't know how to play. Your banks and grocery stores bankrupt locations in front of you. Have you ever been curious how they do it? They use subsidiaries. I want to use division process. So you got to stop bringing the pain home. You got to basically become a certified CFO and reprogram your brain to main or status. We got to look behind that curtain, dissect it every time. And that's what I've done since I was a kid. Ultimate goal. We stay safe. We stay strong. We do our best. Jesus does the rest. Amen to that too. So at the end of the day, you do what you need to do now, now, now. Call 800-254-9506. Ask for Scott if you do it tonight. If not, you can do it tomorrow, and all the extra bonuses I offer tonight are bye-bye. Because the specialists in the office, they're only allowed to do so much. The ultimate goal is going to be up to you. I'd like to get you to auto income. But again, it's going to be up to you how you play the game. Is it easy? No, you're going to have to work your tail off. You remember, you can't violate, you can't jack up things. you got to understand how to play. But it's a process of three, six, or 12 months. And this is just January. you got the whole rest of the year to get you where you need to go. So again, we stay safe, we stay strong, we do our best. Jesus does the rest, amen to that too. And at the end of the day, God loves us all.